This is old downtown Calhoun, Tennessee. And this used to be a really happening place. Because the Hiawassee River is dead ahead. And the railroad tracks are right over there. And this was important before Charleston or Cleveland was important. This was a town a long time really before Cleveland because it was kind of like the last the last place you got to before you headed into Cherokee Nation. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is ground zero for Calhoun. It's kind of funny because this is Main Street. Right there is Sherwood, which I think used to be First Street. So we are at First and Main in Calhoun. And uh, this is it. That is the Cleveland train station. Actually, I'm not sure what it is now, but it used to be the train station. Actually, I think that used to be the old train station, and then this was the new train station, and then that kind of became the, um, the agricultural uh, train station. Um, I don't think trains stop here anymore that I know of. They may stop down the road there for hardwood stove. The railroad actually uh, made a couple of bends in the railroad plans just to suit uh, where uh, the founders of Cleveland decided to put the Cleveland Courthouse, or the Bradley County Courthouse. I'm in an area to the uh, south side of Bradley County called Flint Springs. And no, it's not a modern community, so there's not an E on the end of Flint. And once upon a time, there actually was some Flint, and there actually was a spring. And this place was its own community. It had its own schools, its own churches, its own blacksmith, its own general store. Because we're about five or six miles from Cleveland. I think it actually had its own motel. But when roads and travel came to be easier, uh, everything moved towards Cleveland. I think this was actually a part of what was called Flint Springs. There was like a pool here, like a community spa, swimming situation. That is the Flint Springs Presbyterian Church, and it is one of the oldest churches in the county. Other than that, it is just a uh, residential area, but Chief John Ross of the Cherokees lived here. He was actually arrested from his home here in the 1830s. There was a Cherokee mission here before this was called Tennessee or Bradley County.